So in this video, I'm going to show you how to identify the pin assignments on your old CRT CNC monitors. This one is our 10.4 inch screen, and um, which is universal retrofit LCD replacement. It comes with the screen assemblies. It's already upgraded to sunlight readable, power adapters, power ports, and uh, one of DB9 with wire and couple of DB9 connectors. All right, let's set that aside. Um, take a look at the so this one has a, um, oops, this is a 10.4 inch to replace 12 inch a um, CRT. You can see the connector, this, this one's no use. This is a 9 pin. Okay, if you take a look at the accessory come with that, it's a uh, two of uh, one female, one male, DB9 if you need to use it, one of the wires, uh, which is this one connect to this side. See? Oops. Connect to, oh sorry, <laughs> connect to this side, and here it's all color coded. For example, you know this blue is for blue color, and uh, this red, this is green, and white is for the same signals. All this pin assignments, standard color coded assignments, listed on our website. Just check out our website uh, for a second. So, you know this one connect to here. This one solder to your old CLT wire harness. Or if you're old one using DB9, and then you can use one of this either way. So let's set that aside. Uh, let's take a look. One of the Faunus 9 inch as a sample. So I can show you. Uh, this one is Fauna 9 inch display. Okay. See that model? Okay, this is a 120 pin connector. You can see better this side. This is the power supply, 24 watt. We don't care in this video. This is the connector, the signal connector. We, we cut off the line. So let me let me show you. Just pull out. All right. So that is the one on the on the uh, input boards. Set aside. So this is first step. We would usually determine by type the wire used for the video. So what we do is that we take out this and look at do the inspection on the wire itself set aside the screw see this is only C N one so this is okay set aside when you open up you can immediately see that the wires you see this one it's after this one have shielded so this would be the video pretty much so this blue and red, we are not sure, but all these wires, you see this, should be the guang, okay? Especially for these wires. If you are not sure it's guang or not, you can always pull this unit out, confirm it with your own meter, set it to resistance range. For example, you know, it's... So you just do a quick confirmation, so it's guang, okay? So again... This is Guang and this all connect together. Now we have to determine on this one which one's for sync signal, which one's for vertical sync, which one's for horizontal sync. Um, you know, you can use a voltmeter if you have auxiliary scope, that would be great, but uh, you know, it's uh, I'm just using this meter because this meter has a frequency on it, you know. So I can just measure the frequency and tell me which one's sync, which one's a uh, for a uh, vertical sync, which one's. For this thing, I have a wire here, so let me um, hook up to the signal generator I have here. I set it to on uh, this says a CGA. Okay, so basically, you just set this one on a frequency because we know the Guang is here on the center. So you just measure, measure the pins. CGA should have around 15 Ks. Okay. So now, see this one have about 12k, and just measure all this, and I think this one it should be the horizontal sync, which is this one. Okay, uh, so if by changing the CGA from EGA, the frequency will change, right? So this for sure, this is so we already identified that so this one it's for horizontal sync, this one is vertical sync. All right, now we all all these uh, connections, uh, pin assignments, uh, we find out the videos, the pin one and the other one horizontal, I mean vertical, 
hold this ground. So basically, you just connect back here, and the other end connect to the display, and uh, that's it. But anyway, if you need some help, uh, you know, just send us a few image about your wire connectors, the model of the, the CNC monitors. We should be able to help you out. And uh, thank you for watching. And next video, we're going to show you how to uh, adjust the screen width and selecting the input source on this um, universal retrofit uh, display.